Hey guys, Clicks here. I'm going to show you how we optimize our mining rigs with simple mining. Uh, with overclocking, it can get a little tricky because every video card responds to settings different. So what I've done is I've started to chart my settings inside a spreadsheet and then I'm going to go through all the different variations and settings and find the best setting for each GPU. Now you'll see here uh, up top I have this line that shows me the uh, highest hash rate for each GPU. So you can see some down to 270 and up to 284. So there's a big difference here. The key is to find the settings that work the best. And you'll also notice uh, sometimes the same setting for one of these higher cards will do worse. Um, so you you can see here it's uh, 280 and then this one's 279 which isn't that much of a difference but uh, you know when you're trying to get the most bang for your buck these little differences add up especially on a 12 GPU rig and you can see here the totals now if you just went by the total hash rate the one that's at 284 for a whole it's only 2700 so you might have it set to this setting where it's 3000 but if you look uh, for this setting it crashed this particular GPU at that setting so what I do is if I try it out and it crashes I just put a little dash here so I know that it wasn't that I didn't try it yet uh, these two for whatever reason when I was viewing the console I couldn't get it to show me the uh, the stats for it so it's just a lot of playing around um, so we'll we'll come up with a setting here so I've done um, 150 and 700 I like to keep it sorted by core and then memory so I'm going to insert one above and I'm gonna try 150 500 and so I'll come over here change it to 150 500 hit save and then we'll just watch the console eventually it will tell you uh, the changes have been made now I'm doing this remotely uh, the servers are not kept where I live for a few reasons um, but mainly because well I've got kids and so you don't want the kids to mess with the rigs that's the big one um, but you can still using simple mining control it from far away which is pretty awesome. Uh, the only down, the only downside to it is you get to wait. It's a little bit of a delay, but it will actually update. Um, so obviously, if you're doing this in person, the screen is right there in front of you. You're going to see the changes almost immediately, and then you'll be able to get the info. Um, so I'm just going to wait for it to refresh. I have found that sometimes coming back here and refreshing this page gets it to. Uh, a little bit faster console all right see now it's showing they're starting up applying the different uh, overclocking settings and I've I found it's really interesting how each GPU even the same manufacturer same exact specs will react differently and so by going through this methodical approach you're finding the best settings for each GPU and then when you're done you can set up simple mining so each GPU has its own settings which is actually just as easy as setting them all um, so we'll see here in just a moment now this rig is all 1063 gigs except for GPU I missed it I think it's GPU 0 so basically it's all the same cards we just got a 6 gig card in there just to see how it would affect and we're mining Zcash. This would work for any cryptocurrency um, that you're mining because you know the the settings will change. Some cryptos use more memory than others. Um, we'll, we'll, we won't go into that in this video, but it suffice to say that you'll want to do this every time you change um, a crypto, and that's why I like saving this. You'll see, I've got it saved one for each rig and then um, I should actually be noting somewhere this is for Zcash but we'll do that at some other point. 
Now it's also important once this is running to wait a little while because the first few uh, runs will just, I don't know, they, you, you want to go by the average of a longer period of time because it can fluctuate. Um, if you just go by the first number, it can be wild, wildly different than the average. So wait a little while. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to wait too long because I'm just showing you my method. But usually I like to wait at least an hour, um, if not 24 hours. So... All right, so we can see they're starting to come up. So I'm going to go to GPU zero. The average oops, is 275. So I'll come over here, GPU zero, 275. Now you'll notice right away, uh, GPU zero likes the lower memory setting. So at 500, it's actually working better than at 700. GPU one, 269. Same with GPU 1, just slightly different. All right, GPU 2, 280. GPU 3, 267. That was 268. So far, it's looking like 500 memory is. Uh, the better setting. Let's check GPU 5, 277. Now what's interesting, you'll see here, GPU 7, it's worse with 500. Now again, it's just a small amount, so it could be a fluctuation, uh, but if you don't do this setting by setting, you're not going to get the best setting for each GPU. GPU 8, So you'll see we're getting slightly higher hash rate at this setting, but not all of them are better. So that's why doing this type of test is critical. And I'm going to keep doing this over time and fill up. Basically, I want to do the cores I'm trying every 50 mark is what I'm doing. And then I'll probably go to every 25 just just because I like seeing this data. And then memory I've been doing. Uh, every hundred and then I did 140 because I saw someone say that was the best setting ever um, which you can see having it a slower core higher memory is actually faster all right so say this was completely done you've tested all of the combinations what you would do is you would come over here and you'd say memory setting Oops, core setting. So you, you would look at this and say, all right, 279, what's the best, what's the core setting for that? 200, 275, it's 200, 284, 200, 270, 200, 272, 210, 278, 200, 270, actually I'll just do 200, 276, 210, 284, 200, 272, 210, 277, 200, 273, 200. Uh, the memory setting for 279 is 0, 275 is 
700, 284, 700, 270, 700. Now I probably should have made this not uh, change color for these settings for future note, but I'm going with it because I don't feel like uh, messing with the settings. But it is distracting me, the color changes. All right, 272 is zero. 278, 700, 270, 0, 276, 0, 284, 0, 272, 0. So, so far, memory at 0, 0 or 700. That's interesting. Um, 277. 0, 273, 0. So now when you go into simple mining, it's basically taking all those numbers and having a comma in between. So you go 200, 200, 200, 200, 200 210, 200, 200, 210, 200, 210, 200, 200. And then the next line is 0, 700, 700, 700, 0, 700, 0, 0, zero 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 and you take these settings over I'm going to change overclocking for core put them in like that all those commas and hit save now what should happen is you should have the most optimized setup for all those GPUs and you'll be getting the most souls per second um, you can also base it on souls per watt. What we personally do is we have the uh, power setting capped at a certain amount because we know how much our power supply can handle and we're going for souls per watt. So with the power capped, we know how much power it's gonna use and then uh, we play with the settings from there. Um, power is another option you can play with. You would just have to add uh, another column here in your mix. Uh, it's a little harder working with three variables, but it's still the same concept. And you just go from there. So that's how we're doing it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, I don't know about you, it's hard to remember all these settings and there's so much info online. Uh, but what you have to realize is it's good to use tips for a starting point. So for us, 200, 700 and 200, zero are the best settings. Um, but individual cards sometimes vary and so you you want to start there and then play and see where it goes so that you find the best setting for your clocks and your memory because uh, every card just is different unfortunately so I hope this was uh, helpful to you and uh, I'm gonna stop recording now